Hello everybody, this is Trevor Truck, and today I'm going to be playing Smash Brothers Ultimate, which is, um, which is a first for this channel, because it's not on the PC, and instead it is on the Switch. So, we are going to be taking on Schmuck, and I am playing as Pac-Man. I figured, you know what? Let's select a very iconic character for this fight in game. I'm sorry for any uh, lag that appears. Uh, not really, th this game isn't really known for its smooth online play. So anyway, um, this guy, this uh, schmuck player is really good, so it might be a pretty difficult match to win. Um, so for those unfamiliar with this game, uh, this game is about fighting, of course, as you can see, and it is a collection of the world's best favorite uh, video game characters. So we have uh, Pac-Man, of course, but we have others like Mario, Pikachu, Sonic the Hedgehog, which I know a lot of people enjoy, um, but Pac-Man? We're talking about a video game icon. Now, I'm going to try to show off all of Pac-Man's moves, but this wolf character is really in my face, so it might be a little hard, you know, because typically in Pac-Man games, he doesn't kick people or grab them and throw them around like a ragdoll. Um, he has better moves than that. More imagination. So, like, I can spawn a fruit and throw it at my opponent. I can spawn a uh, fire hydrant. And I can eat my opponent. So, um, very, very good options. Now, I should have known Wolf was going to reflect that. That's one of his uh, special abilities. Oh, and watch this. Oh, he ruined it. Hold on a second. Oh, no. Um, so, as you can see, we have percentages. Now, those percentages are damage indicators. So, the higher the damage, the farther that you're going to be flying when you get a hit. That is the nature of the game. So, in this battle with me and Wolf, it would seem that I would have the advantage. I really don't, because I'm not really doing that great, but he has more damage than I do. So, if I'm able to actually get a hit on Wolf, which is not looking very likely, um, I would send him flying. Can I do that, though? I mean, that's that's the question. That's the million-dollar question. Oh, it would appear that Wolf has spared me. And you know what? I would, too. I hate to see such an icon like Pac-Man just getting beat up to dust from a nobody character like Wolf. Um, we gotta have Pac-Man win this one. You know, he might be an old, you know, 1980s uh, arcade character, but to see him lose like this is just a dishonor. Okay. So that was Wolf. And a very uh, great competitor, indeed. So, this is just an introduction into Smash Brothers, and I will most definitely try to play as different characters as time goes on. And, um, I don't know if there's enough interest. Maybe I can ask people uh, what character they want me to play as. Because there's like 80 characters. And, uh, as you can imagine, just a lot of movesets. With so many characters in the game, it's hard to know which one to pick sometimes, but it looks like we have Pac-Man versus Sonic. Wow. Wow. 
Sonic is actually difficult to fight because he has uh, a very big speed advantage. So with Sonic, you have to be careful, you know. I might have to play a little cheeky in order to get some hits in. Um, I used to consider myself really good at this game, but I, I no longer... I no longer make that distinction because uh, people are just really good, especially uh, online. Like, I just don't stand a chance most of the time. But if I can take a few um, stocks off of Sonic, I'll consider that a victory. And I like this because um, these are characters that most likely people know right off the bat. So imagine... I don't know if you've ever imagined what would happen if Sonic went up against Pac-Man, but this, you know, this is what it, this is what it would look like. It would look like this. That's really the whole point, you know. Um, your imagination comes to life through this game. And it's cool. But you see how hard it is to actually, you know, attack Sonic? I mean, he's a lot faster than Pac-Man. I mean, trust me, Pac-Man is no slouch, okay? I'm not saying that, but... It's really, really hard to just lay a finger on this Sonic. But I have a hydrant to kind of uh, give me some time to plan out my next move. Like I said, my goal here. Let's get a stock off of Sonic. Just like that. Precision aim. When Sonic uh, rolls up into a ball like that, I mean, all bets are off. It becomes so difficult to get an actual attack out. But I'm going to try. I, I'm, I'm going to give it my greatest effort. Oh, it's just, I can't really touch him, you know? If I can get a few, uh, you know, just solid hits on him, I might be okay. I might be able to do something. Ooh, that was good. That was real good. Knockout. This game has a very steep learning curve. You know, if you really want to get good at it, you've got to play a lot. Um, this is like the fourth or fifth Smash Brothers out there. And I think the fourth, right? Maybe the fifth. I don't know. Well, if you count the ones released for the Wii U and the 3DS as kind of like separate iterations of the game... Um, but this one, I feel, it's not perfect, but it is, um, oh, I missed my trampoline. Well, that about sums up my gameplay. <laughs> so, um, congratulations to Sonic the Hedgehog. You did a great job. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and end it here, but I will definitely be recording some more. Thank you all for watching.